tonight. It is about 7.30 and it's still really light outside, but inside the cabin, it gets super dark. So I'm gonna show you what I've been using for light. So this is a little propane heater. So I'm gonna try to turn it on. You can hear the gas or the propane and then you oop, light it just like that <laughs> and then it's got settings so I usually leave it on the low setting and let me turn my flash off. Look how much light this thing puts off. Isn't that amazing? It puts off plenty of light to keep this cabin lit up at night. I don't know if you guys remember us doing a review on the Night Buddy. Um, this has been super handy, especially in the middle of the night when I have to get up and, you know, go to the potty outside. This thing has been so amazing. So these are just a couple things that I've been using. I highly recommend them. Not just for off-grid situations, but also like for power outages. This little lantern just connects to one of these little propane tanks. I'm gonna get settled in for the night. I'm hoping to have another productive day tomorrow. See you in the morning. I was getting ready to make a fire for the coffee and I kept hearing a noise and I thought, oh, that sounds like deer. It ain't deer. It's our neighbor's cow. I don't know how close I can get. There's actually a fence there that cuts our property off. It even looks like it's a red heifer. <laughs> I'm laughing. If you guys have watched some of my spiritual preparedness videos, you'll understand why. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get close to it. Oh, there it goes. See you later. Leave the cow alone. Patch, leave the cow alone. Louise, it works. Be the basin cup. Huh? That's got a little lever that you go dump it. Oh. 12 holder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this must be a new seal. <laughs> Behind me? Was where? I felt something. No, there's nothing there. Okay, that was weird. The box is empty. Let me see this. It come with no instructions. This is our camp toilet. We're just gonna have to figure it out. 
I like that, the crabs. <laughs> so this must be the basin that catches the waste. Probably gonna put a, like, a bag, plastic bag in that. This rubber thing. Toilet seat cover. Toilet seat. And the base. <laughs> well, I'm kind of curious why there's a metal rod. Why is there a metal rod? What does it hang on to? I don't know, but it scares me. It's going to be where my booty is. <sighs> Not if it's down. <gasps> Did you break it? So he's figured out that rubber piece goes around the base, like the bottom of the base of the camp toilet. So it doesn't slide out from under you. Yeah. Oh, almost a perfect fit. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa. you did good. <laughs> I'd hate to sit on it and it fall off the base. It'll be so much more convenient at night <laughs> when you get up in the middle of the night and you gotta come outside. What does it do? I do not know this. Oh, weird. That is so weird. That is the toilet paper holder. How convenient. Where's the teepee? Is it hard to roll out? We wouldn't be able to get the big rolls. That doesn't work. That'll work. Putting this bag in there for easy, convenient dumping. <laughs> I don't know about convenient. Well, it'll when keep. You said the word dumping. <laughs> it'll keep that bucket cleaner. Dumping. <laughs> Good choice of words, baby. Does it, do I need to get the bigger bags? You might need to get the bigger bags. I'll go get the other bag. That one should fit better. It's a slow close. <laughs> That's what the rod's for. How neat. You want to test it out? I'll let you do the honors. It's a crappy job, but someone's got it. Now I just need to get a privacy door, like get a... <laughs> it works. I can sit here with my gun and poop and hunt at the same time. Oh, no. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to finally have this ready because when you come out here in the middle of the night with just like a headlamp carrying your toilet paper, you hear all kinds of noise. It's a little freaky and then you're trying to hold yourself up while you're scoping out. But anyway, this will make those nighttime breaks a lot easier. Well, today was productive as you guys saw. We did get our toilet area cleared and set up and I'm loving it. It's the little things, you know, it's the little things. So tonight when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll have a safe place to go. I got some laundry to put away. I did some laundry at my mom's today and I have some more that needs to go. It is so dry and so dusty here. We just like attract the dust and the dirt. And so all of our sheets, this floor, everything is just really dusty. We need rain really bad. We are blessed with the best because we're able to go to my mom's and take a shower and do our laundry. And if we need to get on Wi-Fi and all that stuff, we can go there. As I figure out my 
living routine, I need to set up a place to do our dishes, like wash our coffee cups and the things that we cook with. Right now we have paper plates, bowls, and plasticware, but I do want to get back to using real dishes. My hand washing station is in an inconvenient place, so I would like to group the two together. Dishwashing and hand washing. I am still adjusting to not having everyday conveniences and comforts. Like the biggest thing isn't even like the toilet situation. The biggest thing for me is when I wake up in the morning, I don't have coffee like immediately. I have to be patient. I'm drinking less coffee, which is a good thing. My routine used to be I would get up and I would get a pot started. But while I was waiting for that pot of coffee to brew, I would make a cup in the Keurig and have it instantly. And then I would drink like almost a whole pot before Patrick even got up. But now I get up. If I need to go take my grandkids to school, I do that. And then when I come back, it's usually about 8.30. Then we start our fire, we brew our coffee and make our breakfast. I think the anticipation and longing of that sip of coffee is totally worth it. I think it makes it taste better. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, a little look into our daily life. I need to put these clothes away. I need to straighten up our camp area and get ready to close myself in for the night. Until next time, God bless. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.